All right, Tom, thank you. Now, today's rain did not stop our dot from getting the roads and themselves ready for whatever and whenever winter weather comes into our future. THP 11's Jalissa Garza gives us a closer look at the preps for wintry conditions. The saying it takes a team proves to be true for the Arkansas Department of Transportation. 90 members or so of the strike team is a collection of people, uh, primarily maintenance workers statewide, who uh, their primary jobs, maybe it's a slower time of the year, more seasonal type job, so they know that when uh, winter weather happens, they are deployed. The team spent Wednesday making sure they're ready for winter weather. To discuss things, to hear from the crews who are out in the fields, who will be out, uh, doing the plowing, okay, what do you need? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? Dave Parker with RDOT says learning from previous years, communication is key. From the, the person actually driving the plow to the person telling the plow where to go to the people deciding how many plows and do we put uh, brine down, do we put straight salt down. We're also trying to uh, uh, coordinate better with state police. State police are out. 24-7 uh, in big weather uh, situations. He says when it comes to supplies and equipment, they're good to go with no supply chain issues impacting them. The biggest concern, though, is having enough hands on deck. We're trying to uh, hire more people, one, but also figure out where can we move people in those situations, uh, but still be able to attack clean, clearing the road as best we can. And while today was just a dress rehearsal, our dock crews are ready for what's next. We will have our guard up. Uh, we will watch the forecast more than ever. We'll have equipment ready to go. We'll keep an eye on resources and uh, hopefully we'll get through everything fine. In Little Rock, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. Jalissa, thank you. Whenever road conditions are a concern, you can always check traffic delays and cameras like this one here on idrivearkansas.com.